What is the best way to combine Twitch chat and YouTube chat into a single stream of messages? If you've hopped onto the multi-streaming train lately, you've probably found it really hard to keep up with all your different chat windows for all your different platforms at the same time, especially because a lot of you have multiple YouTube streams now. In case you didn't know, you can stream in both horizontal and vertical aspect ratios at the same time. I've already done a video on that, you can watch that up here. I'm not gonna waste your time. The number one option you've been looking for by far is StreamerBot. This is hands down the best way to combine chats for all your Twitch and YouTube streams. So easy to use and has a ton of features that are gonna make your life as a multi-streamer 14 billion times easier. Now, I know a lot of you guys have ruled out StreamerBot because I get it, this looks straight out of Windows 95, but the chat portion of StreamerBot, this is basically an entirely separate app all on its own. If you use StreamerBot already, you click the chat button up here and then it, it opens up and it looks way different. It looks so much better than the main portion of the StreamerBot app. And yes, it even has dark mode and it's really, really fluid. Super easy to use, super clean UI, but big caveat, this only supports Twitch and YouTube right now. So if you need something that supports Kick or TikTok, we'll talk about some other solutions that you guys can use at the end of the video. You can just look at this timestamp. I'll leave it right here. No sponsor for today's video. So why don't you guys just follow me on Twitch? Yeah, I'll be I'll be checking, okay, Ryan. All right, you pause that video right now. You you go do it so you don't forget. And then also give me money on Patreon. I'm trying to make some money out of this bitch. Okay, so for those of you who've never used Streamerbot or never even heard of Streamerbot before, just head to the website. It's literally streamer.bot. That's the actual URL. Download it unzip it and then open the streamerbot.exe file. Yes, I know the UI doesn't look great, but we're only gonna spend like 60 seconds inside of this white box and then you don't have to worry about it anymore. So you just need to log in with your Twitch and your YouTube accounts. So head to the platforms tab and then for the Twitch and YouTube tabs, just log in with your accounts there. Make sure for the YouTube account that you check the box that says manage accounts. Otherwise, this isn't gonna work for you. Then you just click the chat button and Bob's your uncle. Is that a phrase that American people know? Or is that something only people who are girt by sea understand? If you start typing in Twitch chat, you should see messages start appearing with a little Twitch icon so you know which platform the messages are coming from. And then once you go live on YouTube, it'll be the same thing for YouTube, but it'll be a YouTube icon and it will also show their profile picture. And if combining chats is all that you wanted to do, th that's it. The video can end right here for you. I know someone in chat's gonna be like, what about social stream, Nutty? They had that over a year. Zip it, okay? I don't wanna hear it. I know there's other alternatives that you might've heard of, but there's so many features with the streamer bot chat window that make this so much better than all the other options I've looked at. Trust me, I've looked at like a dozen other ones. So let's go through them all. For one, they have this really neat tab system. So if you just wanna focus on your Twitch audience or just your YouTube audience, you can filter your messages per platform. And in the case of YouTube, since you can have multiple YouTube streams, you can even filter your messages per YouTube stream. So if you only wanna focus on your vertical messages or only your horizontal messages, you can do that too. It also gives you the option to send messages to every single stream all at once, or choose if you only wanna send it to one platform at a time. What's more is if you click on any of the people that are talking in chat, it's gonna pull up a card with a history of all of the messages that they've sent that stream. So if someone in your chat's like, um, excuse me streamer, you like missed my question earlier? you can like just click their name and you don't have to go hunting for the last thing that they said. And that works for both Twitch and YouTube. I should also mention that this supports Trovo. If anyone, I don't think anyone cares. I should have mentioned that earlier though. This card menu also has these quick little timeout buttons for different durations, which is really convenient. And you could also visit their Twitch channel or look at their Twitch viewer card if you want to see like their entire chat history since the dawn of time, not just for that stream. And there's a ban button here for when people are being cringe in your chat. I believe this is the only multi-chat tool that allows you to ban YouTube viewers, which if you've never streamed to YouTube Shorts yet, 
Trust me, you are gonna need to ban a lot of people. Jesus Christ. YouTube Shorts is the most toxic platform I've ever streamed to in my life. It also supports slash commands. So you know how on Twitch you can type slash and then there's like these handy shortcuts for like rating people. You can do that here too. One of the slash commands that's really handy, they have a title command, which allows you to update your title on all of your streams all at the same time so you don't have to be digging into like three different dashboards just to update your stream titles. However, if you want to change the titles of each stream individually, um, allow me to plug my own stuff right now. So I actually made my own little widget that you can dock inside OBS and this allows you to update all your stream titles all at once as well, but it also gives you the option to update each stream individually. There's also handy little shortcuts to take you to the dashboards for each platform, which if you stream on YouTube, you know how annoying it is to find your dashboards. I'll leave a link in the description for where to get it. It's totally free and it has some written instructions, so it's pretty easy to set up. Now, this is where StreamerBot really separates itself. If you go into the settings, Number one, there's a section called highlights. So this lets you assign different colors for each different type of message. So if it's like a first time viewer, you can make their name appear green so it stands out more. But the killer feature that puts StreamerBot leagues above every other multi-chat tool I've used, the quick action section. This is more for intermediate streamer bot users, but what this allows you to do is you can add a bunch of really useful shortcuts in various places around the app. For example, if you click on someone's name and look at their viewer card, you can see I've added a couple of shortcuts up here. And one of them is a shout out button. So if I wanna shout out someone in chat, I just open up their viewer card, click a button, and then it shouts them out. I also added a VIP button. So if I wanna give VIP status to someone, I click a button. And you can also see a similar sort of thing when I hover over actual messages. So in this case, if I hover over a message, I have the option to read out their message with text-to-speech. And I even made my own little Q&A widget, which you can get on Patreon. And that just pops up the message on screen whenever I click on it. I also made my own quick action button to translate messages. So if someone comes to my stream and they're speaking Russian or something, and I don't understand what they're saying, hover over the message, click the translate button, and then it translates it so everyone can see what they said. And then finally, there's some general quick actions or global quick actions down here. And I have one that toggles off all my channel point rewards all at once, so I don't have to go into my channel point menu and then like click on them individually. I also have another button that opens up my channel point request queue. You can even use these to change scenes in OBS or run quick chat commands. It's kind of like a mini stream deck just like docked at the bottom of the chat window. I have a whole separate video on how this quick action system works. It's a little bit out of date, but it should still be relatively easy to follow. So if you want to watch that video, you can click it up here. Please go watch it. Okay, I worked hard in that video and like no one watched it. But that's just a small taste of what you can do with the streamer bot chat. Do you guys kind of understand now why I recommend this chat window above all the other multi-chat tools you guys keep telling me about? Now, I know there's some questions that you guys are gonna ask me, so let me attempt to preemptively answer them right now. Number one, no, you can't dock this in OBS, unfortunately, at least for right now. I can confirm that it is being worked on, so you can expect to see that sometime in the future. I don't have a timeline for that though. Also, how do you show the chat on screen for your viewers? Because right now this chat window is only really useful for you as the streamer, but not so much for your viewers. If you've been watching my Twitch streams, Ryan, remember? Remember when you followed me earlier? I have this horizontal chat widget on screen where all the messages appear horizontally along the bottom. And a lot of you guys have been asking me what that widget is. This is the stream up horizontal chat widget. Again, I'll leave it linked down below. This is another one of those streamer bot things. There are written instructions, but be prepared because the instructions are pretty long. So give yourself like an hour to set everything up. I know it's a lot of work, but you only need to do this once. And then when you're finished, you never have to worry about it ever again. And it's super worth it. It looks so clean. By far my favorite way of showing chat messages on screen. By the way, yes, I know Twitch technically doesn't allow you to show YouTube messages on screen, 
But come on, literally no one has or ever will get in trouble for that. Do you really think Twitch is surveilling your 10 viewer stream and then like cross-referencing the messages on screen against the ones that are in chat? Why are you guys worried so much about that? No one's getting banned for that. But what about you TikTokers or kickers who skip to this section of the video? Hi, welcome back. If you need a multi-chat tool that works for Kick, I can tell you that the streamer bot devs have said that they will eventually support Kick as long as they have a publicly documented API so that they can work with it. But for those of you that need an option that works right now, my next best solution is Caster Labs. Caster Labs is one of the few multi-chat solutions that also supports multiple YouTube streams, but it also supports both Kick and TikTok on top of that. Plus, they also have some of their own widgets for multi-chat on stream, including a horizontal widget, just like the one that worked with StreamerBot. Caster Labs used to be my number one recommendation. It's really good, but in my experience, it has been super unreliable. I have heard by some people that it's gotten a lot better in recent months, but Caster Labs would easily be my number two option if you can't use StreamerBot for whatever reason. Beyond those two options, you could also look at Social Stream. I'm gonna be real with you, like 50 of you guys told me to use Social Stream and you told me how much you loved it and how easy to use it was. I don't know what you guys are smoking. I have never used a program that overcomplicates such a simple problem. There's like 17 trillion options plastered on the front page of the program right when you launch it. What does a multi-chat tool need a battle royale built into it for? In fairness, the devs did hear my complaints and instead of just being offended, which totally wouldn't blame them for one bit if they were, they did add a toggle to hide all those options, which I can appreciate. And it does have the added advantage of being dockable. So you can add this as a dock to OBS as well as show it on stream to your viewers. Plus it supports every platform you can realistically think of streaming to, even Instagram. So if StreamerBot or Caster Labs don't work out for you, you can try social stream. Other than that, I can't really recommend anything else. StreamerBot just has hands down the best multi-chat solution you're gonna find if all you need is Twitch and YouTube. And if I'm being honest with you, if you're multi-streaming to more platforms than that, God bless you because I truly don't know how you guys handle it. Check out all these videos here. I have a separate video that shows you how to build out a really awesome vertical stream where you can like cut out all your UI elements and then like reposition them so that they're like in a vertical format. Highly recommend that if you're gonna be streaming to YouTube Shorts or TikTok. Don't forget, I stream on Twitch, okay? Remember what we agreed upon, Ryan. I'll be checking. See you guys later.